Boy, it's been, uh, it's been 30 years. I can't believe I'm, I'm here at Goodwood about to ride this beast again. So Wayne, are you ready to be reconnected with your trusted steed from 1992? It's been in the uh, Yamaha Museum for 30 years and it's been silent. So uh, the Duke of Richmond had this idea about trying to get me back to see if we could uh, ride this bike here uh, at this year's event. And when I saw it, uh, when they had photos of it and they showed me that what it looked like in Japan, I mean, uh, it brought back great memories. Um, but when I think about that year, uh, what it was like to ride it, it was uh, anything but fun. <laughs> I think in 92 was probably the year that these bikes were very unforgiving. And uh, uh, a lot of riders uh, got hurt riding these bikes. But, uh, you know, it was, well, I was injured uh, in 93 the next year after we won the championship on this. And in 93, I was uh, racing Kevin for the world championship. and. And then, you know, I made a mistake and, and, uh, in Mazzano, Italy, and uh, that was the end of my racing career. But I remember early on uh, when I was still in hospital, the thought I had was is that, you know, I'd like to get back on the bike. Here we are 30 years later, and I'm actually going to throw a leg over this thing, so I guess dreams do come true. Well, I'm injured from the chest down, so I really don't feel anything except the bars. So what, I'm holding on to the bars, and. My, my boots have uh, bicycle clips, like on a mountain bike. Yeah. And then we have a strap that sits on the seat, and then I sit on top of the strap, and then that straps my legs over and puts those up against the fuel tank so I don't, you know, flop around that way. I can feel the bike here in my chest, right here against the tank pad, to shift the bike to go up, and, up in the gear, I hit the actual kill button. So when I hit the kill button, that, sh that makes the bike shift up. But that's, that's really pretty easy considering how I back shift it. Go on. So when you ride a two-stroke 500 Grand Prix bike, most all the riders ride with their fingers on the clutch. That's how you back shift the bike, is that you pull the clutch in, and that back shifts the bike. I just got to remember when I'm going through the turns, don't, don't pull the clutch in thinking that, you know, yeah. like I used to, yeah. so, because it'll back shift. I still don't really know what it's like to ride her on the hill yet. I'm gonna find out for the first time tonight. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm very curious about it, very anxious about it, but I'm very excited about it because I know, I know uh, when they fired the bike up earlier, it sounded really nice. It's a sound that I remember well. And this bike was very good to me in many ways. My son Rex is here. He was only 10 months old when I was injured, so he's never heard the bike or seen the bike. He's never seen you on a Grand Prix bike? No. No, and he'll actually be the one, you know, uh, lifting me up to set me on the bike. So he's been working out, getting ready for this, yeah. <laughs> we'll have a couple of guys with us uh, when I go to start. There'll be one on each side and somebody in front of me. And I'll just give them a nod and then they just kind of give me a gentle nudge and then I'll just let the clutch out and that'll hopefully go in the right direction. Back. I've got that my foot cool. under the back, mate. Wow. 
That was cool. Nice. Wow. <laughs> what a thrill. A little bit different than the last time I rode it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It wants to put all my joints in place. Yeah. This is crazy, crazy acceleration. Okay. That was fun. I wish I wasn't running out of sunshine. Again. <laughs> again. You want to go and do yeah. it again? Yeah. <laughs> was it anything like you remembered in terms of the power, the delivery? Yeah. I didn't even actually get it on the pipe. It was, what well, you know, when it, this bike starts to run at about 8,500 RPM, hopefully I can uh, get it in that range next time I ride it. How was it for you? How do you feel? We were, he was so far ahead of us, we couldn't keep up with him. So, I mean, to put it bluntly, that's probably how a lot of his competitors felt racing against him for, for years and years. But yeah, to see him here on this, uh, at this moment is... Uh, uh, thanks, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's Some quite races. amazing. Speed. Yeah, there you go. Some races I saw the tail end of them. Wow, that was great. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. Well, we'll call it a night. Mm. A good yeah, night so. at that. Yes, that it was. <laughs>